is religious to the DID for here. Okay, the next thing is, okay, we're gonna open up the file. The way the way Java open up the file is kind of very interesting. You have to create a new new class. I mean, we never talk about that. Every time when in Java, when you see when you see a new, basically it is creating an object. So the new is mean is creating an object. Okay, creating an object. And what kind of object? It's called a file object. And you're gonna ask me, this file object is what? It's a okay, Java created for you. He's gonna take care of all the file input, output, open, close. Okay? If you don't use this file object, you have to write your own. And that will be a lot of work. Okay? So so you, if you want to deal with file, all you need to do is create a file object. All you need to do is very simple. You just say new file. And then you just give him the file name, what, which file you want to work with, okay? And this input file is what? Is the one you just entered, right? Input that you just created, right? You have to create this file by hand, okay? And then uh, once that, this object return you a variable called the input file, okay? This is a, a variable, it's an input file, okay? And then what we're gonna do is the next thing is once you've got this input file ready, then you're gonna use this file to create a scanner here, okay? This is scanner here. So basically, you need two steps. The first step is you have to use file object. And once you create a file object, you have to use the uh, scanner to create what is called the in scanner, okay? And you're gonna ask, how come we have to go all this trouble here to do this? You should, used to, all you, I mean, I used to, we only just need one statement, right? To take care of all the keyboard entry, right? But right now, you are not dealing with keyboard entry anymore now. I mean, you don't type in the uh, input in the keyboard anymore now. You go, your input is coming from where? Coming from file. So you have to do a two things. It's not as straightforward. So you have to remember, if you're going to have a computer to read in the file for you, you have to do these two statements. If you don't need to create a file, you're going to type in for every enter, then you don't need this file after. Make, make sense now, okay? So right now, okay, so this is the, uh, okay, these two statements is required for opening up a file, okay? How about writing a file, okay? The way to write a file is different. You have to use another object called a print writer, okay? This print writer will take care of the uh, output file. So this, this two taking care of the input file. And this one is take care of the output file, okay? So, so and this object is called out. Okay, so everything you're going to write is write to this out object, okay? Everything you're going to read in, you're going to use the in object. So basically, you are dealing with in and out right, right now, okay? Uh, so okay, let's go continue here. So basically, this three-line code is to take care of the, uh, is prepare the in object and prepare the out object. And you're going to use these two objects to write the uh, data, okay? So let's go ahead and continue more on the, uh, uh, the curve here. I mean, you can go home and read through the textbook. They have a better explanation here, but I just kind of give you a quick overview here. Let's go ahead and continue our uh, reader curve here. So what we're going to do next thing is we're going to read the input and write the output. Okay? And then you can see uh, how many files. Uh, okay, this is your uh, input file, right? You have a one, two, three, right? It's three number. Okay, and you're going to read in one number at a time. Right? How many times you have to read three times, right? So we're going to use the while loop. So this loop is going to go through how many times? Three times. It's going to go three times here. Okay, this loop is going to go three times. Each time he's going to read in the data here. Okay? And now let's go inside the loop here. We never talk about this, this way to read in the data. Okay, this is a very interesting way to say if we have a next double, the next double is say what? What is talking about? If we have uh, another number here, okay? If we have another available number, which it had to be a double, then I'm going to go ahead and do the three. But they say if, they, they, if there's nothing here, if there's no data here, so what is this is going to do skip, come here, okay? He's going to check. The only time you will do this one, two, three thing is when you have a double data here. How about integer? No, integer not going to help. That could be a double, okay? But anyway, the, when they, the integer can be treated as a double too, okay? But if you have a character A here, B and C, let's say your input file has A and B and C here, will this loop will come inside? No, because this, this, this boolean exploration here, this, this boolean uh, statement is going to fail. 
He said, the only time you can do this three tandem is you are either a double or integer, okay? In this case, it's a character. He, he, he gonna skip it and he gonna come here. But right now, let's put, put the integer back. One, two, three. Okay, when computer see the one, he treats it as a 1.0. So, okay, so that's how it, how it works here. Okay, let's go inside the loop here now, right? Uh, right now, inside this loop here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to convert the false number into a double. Okay, we say next to double. And then right now, right after that, we format it. Okay, we go ahead and format the file using uh, what's that, a 15 dot 2. So that means I think you got 15 characters. 15, you calculate a 15 digit here. And uh, there's a two decimal here. Okay, and in total here, 